Now it's time to play Scare B&B. Scare B&B. Airbnb is a fantastic resource for people who want all the discomfort of not staying in a hotel, combined with all the fear of sleeping near strangers. <laughs> people list their actual homes, and then people they don't know come stay there. It's sort of like Goldilocks with PayPal. Uh, so I'm going to show you a picture from an Airbnb listing, and I would like you guys to give me a line from your review after having stayed there. All right, here's the first one. This cozy suite shares the ground with a fox <laughs> named Rabies and some creepy art installations. <laughs> what was that <laughs> stay like, Natasha? Hard to f when ominous children's laughter begins at midnight. <laughs> Next one. The, this one's in Seoul, and it looks like a prison camp. Right I there. So, oh, we... Yes, Natasha. Uh, easily the nicest shoe rack I've ever slept in. <laughs> <laughs> also, wait, also, I heart the smell of kimchi farts. <laughs> Points. No, this was fine, but the maids wore white lab coats, and the free breakfast was at the end of a maze. <laughs> <laughs> Points. It's for science. All right, next one. This creepy room rented by this not at all creepy guy. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, get you pregnant. <clears throat> Mark. Uh, reasonable rates, but I got tired of putting the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> he calls it a detached shack toe. That's <laughs> uh, clever. The room is very spacious, which is nice because the smiling lunatic never leaves the room. <laughs> <laughs> he just sits there the whole time. He just and hangs out with you. Hey, you want me to wake you up at any time? <laughs> you can't, the other part of that picture is like his half of the bed that he's got cut off. <laughs> it looks like a small bed, but that's literally where he used to be. I had a great stay until my unborn child was ripped from my womb as I slept. <laughs> Close to Subway. Points. Okay, cool. <laughs>